This TikTok is going viral by these two half Asian women that talk about dating Asian guys. Man, it's sparking a discussion. Let's talk about it. Yeah, this TikTok went viral. Let's run the clip. You have arm hair? <laughs> oh, your dad's the Asian one? He must have game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but I'm 5'6". <laughs> I'm trying to bulk up. Hold up. How much do you weigh? <laughs> you should be a fairy for Halloween. But not like... A small fairy. <laughs> Did you shave your sideburns? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is really interesting because I think in the past, Andrew, half Asian women would always make these TikToks about dating white guys mm. and the awkward or cringe or just like, I guess, non-calibrated things that white guys would say. But now these Hoppa women, Andrew, are talking about the odd things that the full Asian guys they date say. Yeah, and I think it's funny because this TikTok, uh, if you're an Asian guy and you've you know other Asian guys and you know how Asian guys think when they meet like a pretty hoppa girl who would date a full Asian guy. Some of these things are said. It's funny. Some of it is true. It's for sure true. But I think what is really interesting is that it led to a discussion on Reddit, David, and this guy made a whole post about it, um, kind of based off it, basically summing up to say, hey, Asian guys, things are getting better for us. There's a lot of non-Asian women and mixed Asian women who want to date us now. Let's stop being awkward. Let's stop bringing up the racial dating imbalance dynamics. They don't need to hear those things. Let's just act like we've been here before. Right, right, right. He was saying, uh, let's not be like rookies to this or seem like we are such rookies. But the truth is, my whole takeaway was like, but a lot of guys probably are rookies. That's why you see people making rookie mistakes or saying rookie yeah. things. Yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, we're going to delve into the discussion. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pot Boys. Check out Smala Sauce at SmalaSauce.com. Now available for pre-orders, guys. The previous batch went quick. You are going to want to order this right away. Um, I will say this. It's interesting because now, uh, I think in the past, would you agree with me that people would assume that a half Asian girl would almost always go with her white side? In the past. It, it seemed that way, majority-wise. And now it seems like they're starting to go more with their Asian side. Obviously, there's a distribution, there's a variance, but a higher ratio are picking their Asian side. Right, right. And I guess that's leading to guys that they're dating that are full Asian. I don't want to say, Andrew, are they trauma dumping on them? Nah. Or are they, are they like... <laughs> I, I think I think a lot of it is jokes. I think it's bringing it up like, oh, your dad must be pretty cool if he's the Asian guy who got like a hot white girl, you know, back in the six seventies and eighties, right? Well, it so also I, depends on how hot the mom was. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I I think there's always the jokes like that, and I'm not gonna say that I never thought of or have jokingly said some of these things to like mixed Asian people in my life, but I knew you have to know the situation on when you can joke about it. If you're all friends. Of course, it's more okay to bring up racial dynamics. Right. But if you're just on the first date with them, I would refrain from bringing some of this stuff up because you right. don't know if they even want to talk about it. Well, I noticed that some Hoppa girls or just Hoppa people in general, they're super tapped into racial dynamics and other ones almost just don't want to talk about it and just like be a person. It depends yeah. on their personality or how they developed. Yeah, I mean, you just don't know. I mean, basically. So I guess like what I'm saying is to the point is that just... uh just read the room. Let's not be awkward about it. I mean, mm. guys, we are like, I know that a lot of Asian guys are socially awkward, to be honest. Like they lack some coaching and some experiences. And, and, and it's not necessarily that they're awkward in every situation. They're awkward when it comes to dating Hoppa girls. Yeah, or something listen, like that. listen, dude, Asian guy. Listen, if you thought you could never get a cute non-Asian girl and now you can go on a date, you might be like a little bit, oh, whoa, this is cool. And then you might say that out loud to her. You might be like on the date and be like, hey, you know, I never really dated a non-Asian girl before, but <laughs> well, you know, you're, since, you're saying, Asian, since Asian guys are trendy, it makes sense that you're going in, out with me. In a way, you might not have been calibrated by previous repetitions. So when you get your first rep, you get a little wonky. Yeah. It's, it's just like first time facing a full court press or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into the comment sections from TikTok. Somebody said, my own Asian dad was sh uh, shocked to find out my Asian friend had an Asian dad and literally said he must have game, the, the he must have a lot of game line as well. Dude, Asian guys think like that. Dude, try, I'm not saying it's a wrong thought, 
I guess saying it to her face, depending on the situation, is can be a little bit awkward, I guess. But but we all think like that. We're all, we, we get it. Come on. What if she said, no, my dad doesn't really have a lot of game. My mom was just kind of low value. <laughs> uh, somebody said, with my mom being Asian and my dad white, people always ask me if my dad was in the military. This is a little bit of an old school 80s, 90s, early 2000s stereotype. Yeah, though. I guess if the kids are like... 30 years old you might guess it but yeah i mean in the younger generation they can be from anywhere and somebody said what's new asian women dumping on full asian men online what's new i actually don't think they were dumping on them i think they were just like having some friendly jokes because clearly there are dating full asian men mm. and i think if you date somebody andrew you have the right to make fun of them okay because you are dating them Right. Yeah. Um, somebody said, Asian girls, this is a white guy, Asian girls are Latina codes. Basically saying that uh, a lot of Asian women, which I guess is half, half white hoppas, look Latina. Right. Um, yeah. That's yes, it. I would agree. A lot of them do. They end up do looking you, Latina. Do you guys think these two girls could pass for Latina? I would, you would say so, right? Yeah. Um, somebody said, how come full Asian guys are always surprised when they date us half white, half Asian girls, and we still have white traits? Do That's you think funny. this is true? Yeah, because I think like the joke is that sometimes, the, first of all, this girl, Hippo Baller, is a tall, Asian girl from the Bay Area. I think she's half Japanese. Maybe she plays basketball, so she's around a lot of other tall Asian guys, right? And then Asian dudes are always like, oh, man, maybe you got, wow, you got a lot of hair on your arm, or wow, your like, feet are kind of big. And it's like, yeah, she got some traits from the white side and it's really funny because like maybe certain facial features are from the asian side and then maybe maybe the hand size is from the white side yeah i think that sometimes full asian guys when we date a half asian girl we're just thinking that she's going fully with her asian side completely but she still may be a hybrid right, right, of, right. of, of uh, even personality traits or uh, life experiences might know more about like horses or something like that um the only asian men i've dated cared so much about body hair like every single area of body hair and this girl was talking about how uh she started dating asian guys she's hoppa and she had to start shaving her arms mm. because obviously one of the jokes is like hey did you shave your sideburns because like asian guys they really i, I guess they don't want those ashanti sideburns you right. know the little baby hairs on the side um somebody said one vietnamese guy told me you are beautiful but if you would go to the gym every day it would be a lot better <laughs> I don't know if that has anything to do with the rest. All right, let me tell you this, though. If anybody goes to the gym every day, they are going to look better. But you got to know social norms about what's acceptable and what's not mm -hmm. acceptable to say people at different times, obviously based off your own interpersonal relationship with them. Okay, Andrew, here's the interesting side from Reddit. This is the part where the Asian guys were like, oh, man, guys, should we talk about the old days where a lot of non-Asian women and Hapa Asian women didn't like Asian guys, or should we just focus on self-improving now that things are getting better? Uh, you mean kind of like, let's not always think about the traumatic past of like when you got dissed or when this Asian girl dissed you or this non-Asian girl dissed you or when right. non-Asian girls When you were viewed as a dweeby alien right. dork. Right, should you dwell on it? Uh, I think it depends on your stage of life. There really is no functional, practical, pragmatic reason to dwell on it, to be honest. Right, you're saying to lean into the past traumas. Yeah, I mean, especially unless you're like a writer or you make content about it, why would you dwell on the past and history? But uh, it's good to acknowledge how much it's changed. Hopefully that motivates you and inspires you. But yeah, ultimately, I mean... If you're like a young guy, 25, 30 years old, just live your life right now. Uh, somebody said, it didn't come in time for me in my life. And uh, I guess some guys were saying that, that uh, let, let's just say little dick, dweeb, dork archetype from the past, like it changed how they developed in life. So right. they felt like it didn't like make that, you know what I mean? Like they were unable to become cool. So now that Asian guys are cooler, they still can't be cool because they've lived life in that lane that society shoved yeah, them into. Yeah, no, I think that's partially true. Some people miss the boat and the benefit of the wave, but also that's not to say like maybe some of these guys, they wouldn't even have rode the wave even if it was happening right now in front of them. Right, right. It's not, not it's every, just like every white guy or every black guy is not cool even though they had their waves. Right? Yeah, like maybe you were just kind of an uncool person. I think it's just, I just think the cool... Good looking Asian guys are getting valued more. It doesn't make you change that, oh, from uncool to cool now. Yeah, this That's guy like, said it, the easy way to say it is on a scale of one to 10 in the 2000s, you got a negative three on your raw score and now it's just a negative one. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think that, I mean, I think it's fair to say that. I think it, it varies. Some people could be neutral at a zero now, so they're not getting any accelerator or decelerator. Um, people said that Reddit in general and online forums in general, Andrew, are full of the most bitter, complaining, least life attacking people who would rather focus on the negative. Yes, I agree. You know what I realized? Andrew, IG is where you get more of the... Like, you know, regular people, bro comments. I noticed right. that Instagram's like that a lot. And, uh, yep, somebody said all you can do is focus on yourself, ultimately, because you cannot control anybody else. And that is why most online discussion should center around self-improvement. But ultimately, if you get people who are chronic complainers, obviously, they're going to lean into their uh, native impulses. Yeah, I think what I like about all this discussion, though, is that Asian guys are actually having a legit conversation amongst themselves and kind of coming together and convening in large groups being like, hey, guys, how should we proceed? Given uh, the boost in media and possibly the boost in real life, well, how should we act? And then people are discussing saying, hey, listen, guys, it's probably better if you know you don't need a day and just live your life. Or, hey, missed a boat for you, but it's okay. You can still benefit in other ways. And it's like, I do appreciate the discussion. And hopefully we're also part of the discussion. Hopefully some of those guys are also watching this video. Uh, but that's what I do appreciate is that Asian guys can actually come together and actually have meaningful conversations about this. And I do think this conversation is meaningful, by the way, because there needs to be internal conversations on how to act, right? You, you mean now that times are a-changing? No, I mean just forever, ever, any community, any group of guys, a group of friends, uh, your platoon, your basketball team, your pickleball squad, whatever it is, like have those conversations just of like, hey guys, like- You're saying go over game film. Yo, let's, let's have some real schemes that we're running here. How we acting nowadays, guys? What's the update? Are, did you get the software update? Are you getting the software update? Hey guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, shout out to these TikTokers though. You know why I like TikTok content? Because it's just content from regular people. And you get more of a wide breadth of experiences represented. All right, everybody, let us know in the comments down below what you think about this video. Please hit that like button, share it with a friend, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.